Right guys, so with Legends Limited Final Form Cooler officially leaked and coming out this upcoming weekly reset just a few days from now, I'm going to get you guys fully prepared for this character because I believe this Legends Limited Final Form Cooler is going to play a vital, vital role in not only today's meta, but as well as the future meta for the Legends Festival when we do get the collaboration with Dragon Ball Super Super Hero. So guys, uh, without wasting any time, and by the way, if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you guys simply like, subscribe, and all that good stuff because we are almost up to 100,000 subscribers, so it'd be great if we could get there together. Uh, but with all that being said, like I said, I don't want to waste any time. And by the way, uh, this artwork right here is a retouched Dokkan 2 Legends artwork by TC Dynamite 12 over on Twitter. Phenomenal artist. I mean, take a look at this. Absolutely clean, guys. Uh, I don't think it could get better than this, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, absolutely love it. Uh, j just to give you guys a quick uh, reference, this is the Dokkan artwork right here. So I think it's much, much better than the Dokkan artwork. Much better. So uh, yeah, you know, without wasting any time, let's try to get into it. So, uh, you know, this cooler did get leaked. That's the unofficial artwork, obviously. Uh, I want to tell you guys the best equipment you guys should be farming for this character today. He does have a unique equipment already. So, um, and what I mean by that is that he's going to fall under Sagas from the movies. So, you know, Sagas from the movies has specific unique equipment already uh, included, except for red, I believe. They have blue, green, purple, and yellow. I think they don't have red, and I do hope this cooler is going to be red, but if I... If, if he is going to be red, I do think they're going to bring out the last red Saga's equipment. And excuse that motorcycle on the back trail look cool. But um, yeah, so this is the first equipment you guys probably will have to farm, uh, which is going to be this blue Saga's from the movies. Assuming he's blue, but I don't think he's going to be blue. I'm leaning more towards red. So this is definitely an equipment you guys have to take a look at, as well as this one. This one's the same thing, Saga's, but green. Uh, so if he's green, you guys will have to farm this one. And then the next upcoming one, I believe this is purple and saga. So if he is purple, you guys will have to farm this one, which is all, all these are phenomenal, by the way. So and then the final one is this one right here, which is yellow and saga. So uh, just keep wary on if you guys have to farm these. So really quick, guys, this LF final form cooler will have a tremendous, tremendous amount of uh, great equipment like and I'll, probably like the best equipment you guys can farm on a character at like at any given time. Any character tag at all, I think Lineage of Evil and, and Freeze of Force and all that good stuff has literally the best equipment. The reason being why is because LOE was down on the dirt uh, for three years in the game. So the only way that they, uh, that they could keep them elevated to some certain degree for the first three years of the game was basically to just get them really busted equipments and now they're just busted on their own with those busted equipment so they're really good so uh yeah this next one is um i'm gonna name a few awakened equipments and then as well as some normal uh equipments because i know uh these awakened equipments are a little bit um you know hard to grind so this is just for freezer force right here as you guys can see first lot health restoration up to 15 percent and uh oh yeah by the way uh, we're going to be excluding a uh, specific uh, range type, melee type, defensive type, because we don't know what type he's going to be. Uh, so just keep that in mind. So these are going to be more generic uh, to tags itself. So uh, yeah. I mean, the second slot, take a look at this, guys. You could choose either blast or strike attack up to 20%. And then the third slot, you can also get a two for one uh, strike and blast uh, attack up to 18% each. So this equipment right here is definitely a powerhouse, especially if he's an offensive type of unit. Uh, this is a must, must farm equipment right here. Not only for this uh, for this cooler, but for Frieza Force, any Frieza in general. So yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, the next one I want to talk about is this one. It's for Transforming Warriors, which cooler is, uh, plus Sagas from the movie. So you have to be both, and this falls under that category. Once again, like I said, it's a, um, you know, awakening equipment. And if you guys want to farm these, uh, just go to your, um, you know, your uh, basically your game and then just click on the how to farm and then it'll teach you how to farm these equipments. Very simple stuff. But the first slot, we have a 20% to base blast attack. And in the second slot, we also have more health restoration. Now, I don't know what this cooler is going to do, but I have a feeling he's going to be very, very good uh, just because uh, he is going to fall under the sagas from the movies category. And I believe more than LOE because LOE doesn't really need that much help, but sagas does. Um, I believe they're, they're just trying to prepare for the Dragon Ball Super Superhero collaboration when we do get Orange Piccolo and Gohan Beast and all that good stuff. So just keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, really good second slot, first slot. And then the third slot, you get to pick some defensive uh, stats, either a base blast defense or base strike defense up to 20% each. So really, really good there. And guys, it just keeps on going for these freezes. These freezes, like I said, arguably does have the best equipment, even more than Saiyans, uh, to be honest, which is pretty crazy. But uh uh, you guys can see this lot is also really good down here. 
uh, base critical up to 15%, as well as base strike attack or base strike defense up to 15%. So a two for one on the second slot, um, on the third slot for a two for one. Um, and then here we all uh, we also have base strike attack up to 18%, and then as well as base strike defense up to 18% as well. So really good equipment, and it doesn't stop there because he's also Sagas. This equipment here is a very well-rounded equipment, especially if he's a melee type unit. Uh, we have strike attack, um, you know, base strike attack down here up to 20%, and then some defensive stats right here, uh, which is base strike defense um, and base blast defense up to 18%. Now, really quick, guys, this. Like I said, this cooler will have some great, great equipment. And just to note, just make sure you know what to farm because, um, you know, although this is a great equipment, there are better equipment because this this freezer here has a tremendous amount of great equipment, such as the first one that I showed you, right? It could be any of these unique equipment, depending on what color is going to be, as well as this one right here, which is one of my favorite uh, for freezes. So, um, and then we also have this one right here, more health restoration. So, depending on... It, uh, he's probably going to get health some sort of way, right? Whether it be through his main ability, his passive, his uniques, we don't know yet. So uh, yeah, so this one right here is also really great. Base blast defense up to 20%, and then as well as base blast attack or base track attack up to a whopping 23%, and then more health restoration and base key recovery at the bottom two for one. So like I said, best equipment you guys can farm. And by the way, uh, this is a brand new equipment uh, right here, um, specifically that just came out for, I believe, Lineage of Evil. So uh, not the best equipment because I don't like these uh, these thresholds down here, but it's pretty easy to farm. Uh, base Blast Attack up to 20% is great, as well as you get to choose either Base Blast Attack or Base Track Attack up to 15% on the second slot, which is also great. Um, but I don't like I don't like the third slot. I really don't. 10% uh, to Super Saiyan for 60 timer count. So eh, I don't like that. Too much, uh, too much of a threshold. And then it just keeps on going, guys. Same thing here. Uh, another really great equipment, except I don't like the third slot. Uh, we also have this equipment here, which, you know, buffs his ultimate damage. It's a unique awakened silver equipment. Or not unique. It's an awakened silver equipment uh, specifically for freezes. So another great one right here. You guys can take a look at that. Now, in terms of teams... You know, obviously, lineage of it's gonna be three tags, right? Only three tags, or technically more if you put them on the leader slot. But if you um, if you just take a look at lineage of evil, sagas from the movies, as well as powerful opponent, these are the three main tags you guys are gonna be focusing on. Uh, lineage of evil is already really good. They just need a red man. They really, really do. Uh, same exact thing for sagas from the movies. They really need a red. Uh, I mean, this old bojack is still pretty good, but he's not gonna cut it. You know, in today's meta. After this anniversary, we got nothing but powerhouse units, and we got to keep up with that somehow in some way, right? So, uh, and then powerful opponents, obviously, you know, um, we can expect this banner to pretty much just be a powerful opponent banner because we got a campaign going on right now. So, uh, you know, obviously, Jiren's probably going to be in the banner because he just got his unique equipment. This Frieza for sure is going to be in the banner. And then after that, probably Rose because they've been, you know, pushing his agenda a lot. And uh, yeah, guys, every banner is pretty much ending. As you guys can see here, this banner is going to end in just a little over a week, right? And then we also have this powerful opponent banner ending, this future Android 17 and 18 banner ending, this ultra banner ending in four, uh, four hours, four days, five days, uh, nine days. So everything is ending very, very uh, soon. But uh, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up, man. Um, I'm very excited, as you guys can see, for this cooler. I'm usually not excited for LOE, but if you guys want to build a full team around a specific character or a specific tag, I mean, this banner will probably be that banner for you guys. So uh, yeah, just make sure you guys don't spend too much crystals because, like I said, the Legends Festival, Orange Piccolo, you know, Gohan Beast, uh, Beast Gohan or whatever, is going to be right around the corner. So be smart with your crystals. And uh, if you did find value in today's video, make sure you guys simply like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll definitely catch you guys once again tomorrow morning. Have a good one. Peace.